To Stuart and Robbie, um, it's good to see you again. You've you. left South Carolina to go to Austin, Texas to be near the grandbaby. I completely get that. You're in good hands with Ted. Tom, thanks. Thanks for uh, taking up the cause. And uh, Ted and Steve, thanks for jumping on early. This will pass. It's going to become law. I'd hate to be the person that said no. The problem is real. So real quickly, uh, this journey began after uh, your son was killed. I was contacted by you and some other folks, and it was hard to absorb really what you were talking about until I saw a video. Masala Bashir Masala, I think, is the, the terrorist that killed your son. <clears throat> now, this is not Hamas. This is the PA. Go on the Internet, and you can see the hero's welcome this man received after he was killed by Israeli security forces. The man that murdered their son, who was a West Point graduate, went to Iraq and Afghanistan, studying in Israel, uh, a master's program of global entrepreneurship, was out having dinner with some colleagues and just got killed for no reason at all, other than a terrorist wanted to make a point. And instead of condemning this act, the body was received in Ramallah by the PA as a hero, and the family was given a lot of money. So what we did is we said, any money the American government gives the Palestinian Authority, if a dime of it's spent to make martyr payments, we're going to cut all your money off. And that worked. That was a shot across their bow. But Tom and others have found out that banks and the private side of the equation are basically doing the same thing. So to those banks playing this game, your time is up. Uh, Congress, in a bipartisan fashion, it's hard to find bipartisanship these contentious times, but your son's death brought us together once. It will bring us together again, and we're going to hound these people until this dastardly practice of rewarding people for killing the innocent ends. There's nothing more inconsistent with peace than paying somebody to murder an innocent person. 